Since the mid-90s, Titus has recognized the need for a VAV box selection program. The Titus Electronic Air Management Selection Program, or TEAMS as it is known, has filled that need. The original version of TEAMS was in DOS. This was followed by a Windows version, which has been the benchmark of VAV selection programs for almost 20 years. We're happy to introduce the next version of Teams, Teams 6.0. Teams 6.0 has been completely rewritten and features a great new look and feel. We've also added a lot of great features. I'd like to take a few minutes to walk you through the new Teams 6.0. From the home screen, you can start a new project, open an existing project, or make a quick selection. Let's make a quick selection. You can see right away that the program is more streamlined compared to older versions of Teams. There's no screen after screen of drilling down to get the model you want to select. You simply click single duct, dual duct, or fan powered, and then add a new box to get to your selection. All the information is now laid out on the same screen. The model drop-down allows you to select the box model you want. Let's choose a DTFS-F Phantom Series Fan Powered Box. You can select the size or leave it set to Auto so that it selects all sizes that will work for your selection. And you can select with or without a reheat coil. Let's select a hot water coil. Now let's enter the Design Primer Airflow. Hit enter or tab and the program will automatically populate the fan airflow. Because this is a series fan box, the fan flow has to be equal to the primary airflow or higher. Team 6.0 also populates the minimum and heating airflows based on a percentage you set in the defaults. You can change these in the defaults or you can type over it here to make changes. We'll accept the 1.0 and 0.25 inches of static pressure that are defaulted in the program. Let's select ECM motor. We'll change our voltage to 277. Next, so let's select the method we want to use to select the water coil. You have six different methods to choose from. If you're unsure what the six methods are, just click the blue I for more information. So this gives you the explanation of what the different methods are. I like to use the leaving air temperature method, so let's select that. And let's enter a leaving air temperature of 90 degrees because ASHRAE recommends that the leaving air temperature should not exceed a delta T of 15 degrees. Over here in the attenuation, you can see that it's set to catalog. This area allows you to be very specific about your application. Clicking the more button opens up the attenuation window. Here you can change the ceiling type, duct type, number of elbows, tees, etc. so you can be very specific about your application as possible. Let's go ahead and leave it as catalog and click accept. Now just click calculate. We've improved the layout of Team 6.0 selection results window so that you can see all the sizes that will meet your requirement in the same window. This allows you to compare data on a single screen. The results section shows you the unit size, pressures, motor horsepower, sound, heat, and electrical output. To view the fan curve, just select a row and click on the F slash C for fan curve button. The fan curve shows you the minimum maximum fan curve lines as well as your operating point. The extended sound data tab shows you all the sound power for the radiated and discharge for fan plus primary plus fan only, as well as the room sound pressures based on your attenuation factors you accepted earlier. To add a box to the schedule, click Save in New if you want to continue selecting or Save to Schedule if you want to go to the schedule. Let's click Save in New and add a couple more boxes to our project.
and now click Save and Schedule to go to the schedule. You can see that our fan boxes are on the schedule now. The project totals also shows you the total airflow, electrical, and hot water information for this project. From the schedule, you can select and copy the box. Let's make a couple copies of this last box. Just select the box and click Copy Line Item. Now you can see three lines have been successfully created. You can click on any of the header fields and sort by that field, so we can sort it by unit size if we want, or CFM. You can also group columns by dragging that to the gray box. So let's say we want to sort by reheat. Now when you look at it, you can see that we have our two different reheat types. To unsort, just drag that back out. One great feature of Team 6.0 is the global change feature. Select the lines you want to change by using Control or Shift and selecting the lines. And then select global change. The global change window open and you can select what you want to change. Let's change our liner from fiberglass to EcoShield. And click apply changes. You can see our six lines have been validated. The program will not change the size of a unit, so any global change that affects the unit size will show up in the invalid line items down here. When you're done, just click Done. Now you can see that all of our boxes have a liner eco shield. The reports in Team 6.0 have also been improved. Click Reports and Launch Reports to get to the reports. From here you can select Fan Powered and Launch Report. It opens the Report Preview window. From here you can view or print the report or you can export the report to Excel, PDF, or Word. Let's export this one to Excel. I'm going to save it on my desktop as a file called demo. Now let's just go look for our file. Now you can see the schedule is in Excel. From here you can save it, email it, add notes to it, or copy and paste it onto your CAD drawings. We're really excited about Team 6.0 and its new look and features. Download it today.